step wrong and it takes long just to lie with you And it kept on that I can't get no time with you She know what she want but got trust that she Welcome to the vlog, y'all. I'm actually thawing out <laughs> from work. Clearly, I don't mind the heat because I'm wearing a cardigan. But yeah, I need to chill out for a second. No, no second that. I need to heat up for a second. Since this weekend is going to be extremely hot, I wanted to also come on here and just mention that if you can stand having more clothes on that is a safety tip to reduce yourself from the uv rays especially if you don't want to use sunscreen at the moment because i know there's some controversy on that and you know how everybody says something causes something and the illness and so forth at this point it's i believe it's to a point of no return but that's just my opinion something eventually is going to get every single one of us so preventative this and going overboard with that it's just like at this point you know preventatory things that you can for the sun because it, the sun does impact people like that is a constant thing in the summer especially with these heat domes and heat waves so just keep in mind of that. Check on your loved ones. If you are going to be in a beach area, be sure you do have water. If they have concessions, be sure that you can get to it and have shade. Invest in a hat. Invest in beach umbrellas and so forth. Just don't be out here willy-nilly because this is not the sun from the 50s. Okay? Especially with the climate changes i was gonna go on a trip this weekend but that is no longer happening so i need to well i don't know if it's not happening i don't at this point i'm just so sporadic and spontaneous right now we'll see but that's what it's looking like right now but again i don't know i'm going to dinner tonight just out with family because I've been making that a priority more as well. Just trying to do things with them. I want to try and put this screen house that I bought up. It's like one of those poppable ones. And hopefully that works out. And it doesn't take too long to put up and fall down. Because I do want to take to the beach for shade. And I do want to use it outside so bugs don't interfere with me. And I want the space to walk around in the shelter that I'm in. The only thing is, for $100 plus, it's not waterproof. So it's not like a tent. It's literally a screen house. And it said you can't hang it up permanently. And I probably, people probably still do that. But that's not the intention of it. Like, you're supposed to take it down every, after every use. And I don't necessarily mind that, but it's just like, okay, if somebody wanted it in their backyard, what are they supposed to do? You know, like for that price, I don't think that should be a thing. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I really wish could have done something, got away this weekend, but God willing, there's going to be other weekends that I can and so forth. But we're just going to have a spontaneous weekend. We're going to get this screen house up, figure it out, and we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoy the content. And I will see you when we are either on the way to dinner, because i got to take my mom back to, and see what happens from there. We will be sending out a press release following the conclusion of this press conference, as well as JPEGs of the security maps that are released today. 
Also, following the release of this press conference, the uh, city of Milwaukee will be posting updated frequently asked questions on their website, covering pretty much any question that could be asked related to RNC security. So we'll be directing you to that link at the end of this event today as well. Before we bring in the speakers for today, I'd like to go over a few ground rules as well as the agenda and go over who will be speaking as well. So we'll kick today's event off with opening remarks from And before we get started, I know your heart has got it, I know R&B money, shit And before we get started, I know your heart has got it, I know Dealing with that tender love Body to body to body, girl anywhere You can call me daddy, you can be my baby Body to body to body, girl anywhere I'll take you there, uh Make you run to it, shiver and go crazy You can call me daddy, you can be my baby And before we get started A time has been had all weekend so far I was going to take my mom back yesterday, but we ended up just chilling with my brother and family. And I was just like, yeah, just come back to the crib. So we enjoyed our night and then today took her back. But on the midst of taking her back, we found this cute little brewery distillery situation. So we sat down, learned about the different liquors and so forth. So fun. Then I went to the mall and got some items because there's a certain sale going on. And then we went to lunch again, well, early dinner, took her back and now I'm back home. But the sale that I went to was Bath and Body Works because they're having their semi-annual sale right now. I don't know why I thought it ended in July 24th. So that's why I was just like, okay, let me get over there because it's a few days away from there. And it's, I guess, until July 1st, I want to say. But I had a budget of $20 out the door, right? But then I ran into these. Mind you, still not really over budget. But nonetheless, I ran out of body washes and I was just like, let me just re-up while I'm here. Let's see the prices. This one, oh my gosh, what's in it again? It's cause it's for, I think sensitive skin, I wanna say, but don't quote me on that. It has pro vitamin B5 and aloe. Now, mind you, you never know what the per true percentages this is in and whatever, but whatever. But it is fresh, neroli, sparkling water, and clean musk. Like, I need to get this whole top off. Like it smells so clean because the body wash that I use is like an oil based type of wash. So it reminded me of it and I was just like, might as well keep going. So I got two bottles of that. Um, these are originally $15.95, got them for $3.99. Let me see. Yep, yeah. $3.99. And I got their wallflower, and this is on theme for me in my decor right now. So I'm gonna plug that on in. Well, it's supposed to look like a basket, not this way. You, know, you see the basket? So there's that. And. I don't know if it's because I am so late in the sale, but these were only $2 each. 
Like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be good for a little bit, hopefully. So, I got two Palo Santos. Got two of those. I got two Spa Days. Because I like, you know, the fresh sometimes. I got... I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Got, I believe, two of those. Uh, Got Tahini Island Dream. And I think one mixed match one, maybe? No, I got three of the D words, so. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in total. So, yeah. And this, I believe, was four ninety nine. <sighs> Cause with the whole air wick and things like that, I've always thought about getting them, but I was just like, is it worth it? But now that this was on sale, and to me, these can last a longer time because I guess it has the tags on them with the prices. I didn't notice that. But these individually are $7.95. I don't know how to feel about that. So of course with the sale, hopefully these do last me a little bit on the low setting. And then we will re-up when there's time for it. And I know these type of things are, to me, they're investment type of things because it's just like, who has, especially with this original one, who has $23 to buy an outlet? You know what I mean? A air freshener thing like this. Like who, realistically, who does it? So that's why people wait until the sale and this was the last one i was like oh my gosh this matches my decor so nicely so i'm struggling I'm trying to talk to y'all open this thing up oh, okay this is how it goes okay cool so i'm gonna go hook this up i am actually quite exhausted because of the weekend that i've been having so we're having all the shenanigans right now and i love it and i just wanted to this time when it comes to moments like this i just wanted to keep it to myself and so forth didn't want to bombard family with the camera because you know they don't get it they aren't they're not looking at the artistic side of this type of thing so yeah i'm gonna call it a night and then since tomorrow's sunday what do i do i i didn't <laughs> even get the tent up because I got overwhelmed with the it wasn't even the instructions that overwhelmed me it was the fact that so many warnings were applied to it and it's like I have a similar screen house thing but it's more so for like a child and and I gotta give it to my niece but it's like no I the warnings that are on these products nowadays She's like, okay, we get it. Damn. Like, over excessive with it. So, I'm going to hook this up. And then hopefully tomorrow, pitch that up. Figure that out. Because the rest of the summer, I'm trying to be outside. Unbothered by bugs at the beach and so forth. So, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. Oh, so excited for these. Comment below if y'all have a favorite either wall plug outlet sort of thing because to me here's a pro tip too and this is what kind of prevented me from buying them in the first place is because some people forget that once the oil is out because you got to treat it like a candle truly because you could think of this as the wick and then this as the oil that's in the candle and once you get low you can't leave it plugged in because of the mechanism trying to vent it out, it's going to, in my opinion, I just advise people to take them out of the outlet when you're extremely low and you don't have a refill, please take it out. That's all I'm gonna say. 
okay? <sighs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna drink some more and just vibe out. Maybe catch up on some vlogs myself and go from there. All right, good night, y'all. I have no clue what it is about my cycle, but I usually get super drained, but given that I've been working out and drinking Boost, it hasn't been that bad because it's always like prior to the actual cycle happening. But I always crave at least pizza, Swiss rolls, and flaming chips. And I'm getting two out of three of those today. I did look up a recipe on how to make homemade Swiss rolls, and that may be a thing soon. It's a beautiful breeze. It's a beautiful day past the heat dome. I'm just waiting because I'm very particular with time. Like if I say I'm going to come get something, unless like extraneous circumstances happen, I'm going to be there. I'm more likely going to be early. I just don't like the fact of rushing. And this is how easily I get distracted. Why do they... Oh, I'd be wanting to cut these things off, but hanger. But anyway, with the promptness, I don't know how to not be prompt. Time sensitive things. So when it comes to like parties, when people show up two, three hours, no, I said a certain time and I don't like lying. So why do I got to say something's at 530 and y'all show up at 945? Like, what are y'all doing? I can't, I can't, I'm not one of them. I can't do it. Let me know if I find my tribe eventually somewhere. I don't know. But let me pick up this pizza. I thought about eating by the water. I don't know. I don't know. Really am thinking about it though. I'm trying to vibe out, you know? Maybe that's what I'll do. And then like, I'll get on live or something. That's what I'll do. Okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we figure out the tent situation today. <laughs> I just want to do it before the weekend because hopefully it's a beach weekend. And then the next weekend, I'm out this thing for a trip. New plan because I was getting way too stressed out about this idea of having a beach type of vacation i'll do that in august i'll just go to my usual vacation spot in the country um and that's going to be next weekend for the fourth because after all the stress of trying to book a place i might as well just you know relax and have hella wine and not be responsible. I need to find some new things to do. I may go horseback riding if the price is right. For the first time, because I've been doing that, I've been trying to do it for the past four years. <laughs> but the way my outfits are set up, let me just pack an outfit just for that, you know. That's what I'll do. It's kind of gloomy. It's going to storm today, which is fine. But I got to get this tent set up, y'all. Like, I'm lagging on that because I do want to do a beach thing this weekend. So I got to get that set up. Got to get stuff for the picnic. Stuff like that. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the compromise. I do the beach this weekend, country next, next month, do a trip with my mom, 
and summer is rolling by. 